Hey guys, Tartrop here, bringing you a tube to today. We're on Belgorod. Thanks for spawning on the left is Lewis XJ with US forces, who has urban assault, infantry, and heavy cavalry. Teaming up with him is Onimusha with Soviets, who has guard motor, mechanized support, and defensive. On the right is Ice Stream Buff Iterator with OKW straight away going for Overwatch and Dark Phoenix also with OKW immediately locking into Elite Armored. There's the rankings. I believe these are both random teams. Oops. Putting up the ranks here. Onimusha 55, Lewis 170, Dark Phoenix 170, Iterator uh, 80. Pretty similar on both teams. Overall, one you know, one person around 50-ish, one around 170. We have a new okay, scout yeah. at our disposal. Double OKW, so uh, tier one start coming in from Onimusha. Makes sense. Here it comes. What a... Uh, Hoover over here as well for it to chase down and it's quite far forward. c 3 has got a good run on. It's got the stern pose here. m 3 kind of gets cold feet, stops chasing. Stern pose there running interference, decides not to go any further. It's quite risky exposing the M3's rear armor, so understandable. Flank now. Stempire's trying to light cover though, are performing quite well. Looks like the heavy cover though, now being used by Lewis. It's got enough firepower to win. Get the cap off, and then retreat. Wires off this a bit. But maybe he'd try to sneak a tank trap up back here. It's not, it's not super useful wire, honestly. Gonna be able to win by running behind heavy cover here. Should have just retreated. Peering up the M3 now. Three penals afterwards. Flamethrower pops. He's ready to roast. Early battle group from Iterator. Does mean maybe uh, not that much firepower, but the M3 is getting blasted from both angles. Lewis, meanwhile, going for an Boy, early ambulance. You ready to roll out? There's a lot of healing coming in out the back. Repairs. Holy Kubel again. Backed very far away with the M3 to get the repairs done. Didn't need to go so far off, I think. Slows down your return time. I'm usually pretty cautious about that kind of stuff, but I think this was an overabundance of caution. That being said, with only seeing such a low number of units from this rater, you maybe could expect to see a Rakitan at this kind of timing. Let's see. We player had gone for Rakitan instead of ticking up. Our group is done, and he's got the mechanized as well, so... Faust would be online. Got some munitions for it now. Going for a Shrek though. So he didn't get a lot done with his M3, honestly. Incendiary grenade looks like it forced a couple of retreats here. And there's the 221 from Dark Phoenix. I feel like this is maybe a little bit on the late side though. This is a leg retreat from Lewis as well. A cut off here though from the penals. Pushing on to the main point as well. Good resource to now there by Onimusha. Definitely Lewis cutting these retreats finer than they need to be. Captain coming in now. 
Half command point away from the M1919 still. The M3 can run pretty good against this. Before it's got that extra armor from the 2 3 upgrade, which is halfway completed. Captain working well against the Stern Pies. Pushing back on to the top side is this Rator. 3 upgrade pops. The M3's going in for the chase, but I don't think he could win even with this kind of health lead with the extra armor now. Gets away though. Dark Phoenix giving a lot of breathing room to the M3. Capping up nicely with the Kuval up the top. Sneering range, I think, with these riflemen. Can't quite do it though. The Germans just cut off our supply lines. And three smell going back over to the Kubel side of the map. And just on that, maybe we could do some repairs while capping here. Still a bit of the on map. Bit two now, okay. Could start to use this independently. Let's sight bonus and capture eight. Pretty good. Oh boy, gets very close to their stempo. Just about went down there. Yeah, he knows up against two Jaeger light tricks still coming up. Has to duck away towards the top. He was just starting to struggle a little bit. Has invested into some guards. Capping away now on the cutoff. Guard rifle infantry squads can now be called to fight for the motherland. No light vehicle from either of the Allied players, so I feel like they're kind of letting the Axis team off the hook here. Axis team are oh, going for some recusants now, but as we can see, no. Tier 3 tick down for Oni Musha, so I couldn't even go for any. It's invested into two squads of guards, so it's going to be super late tick. What the hell am I meant to do with yeah, you could maybe exploit the weaknesses of Iterator by going for a light vehicle, but. It's kind of playing into their hands. Okay, so it's infantry fighting against these Jaeger lights. Our satchel but easy dodge. Heavy machine gun team ready for battle. Oh, trick connecting there. And the rifleman rolling up to the top as well. Bit of a two on one now having to push back, regain fuel control. is working well. Could get into some of this light cover though. Help this engagement go even more smoothly. Hmm. Built a secondary echelon? Why? That do you miss it, right? What else would you be building from that tech structure at this stage there? Maybe a mortar? I don't know. Hit three on the Kubel now. Here come the guards. It's Rakit and backing it up. Oh! Managed to unload before the transport went down at least. Honestly, with the amount of speed he had, he might have been able to just drive right past the rocket before another shot came through anyway. He's coming in hot here with that high vet in 301. Just kind of a bad parting in the end. 
Thought maybe the raquette wouldn't be able to land a shot through that narrow gap, but it seemed like the M3 kind of did a little bit of a slow turn right on the edge. Stayed in his arc for quite a long time because of that. Oh, and that's the end of the Kubel. Guards come around the corner, take it out. That's a lot of Axis troops. A grenade off on the exit though. T gun now for Lewis. He's also got the uh, Major out. I wonder if he's going to go... Probably for the Scott. Got a lot of M1919s online now though. No conscripts to merge into these guards, so they're not going to be as efficient as we see in some other matches. But because this rage is out in the open here, not in cover, they are doing very well. Right now, though, dominating map control for the Axis. And look at this. This Shreer is so aggressively planted. I feel like that has to go wrong at some stage this match. Support gun deployed. Not for right now, zoning out these US troops. I feel like maybe he's given up a little bit too much on the bottom. I'm trying to play for the middle, but well, VP doesn't matter too much at this early stage of the game. Like, Rashing your opponent's fuel could be more useful. They're doing a two on one to push back onto the side, reclaim the top fuel, sure, but continuously fighting through the middle for. This resources doesn't make sense, and wow, no retreat at all for Dark Phoenix, who's got a lot of manpower right now. Not to put down his Shreer, it looks like, in the middle. Got an ISG out now for this racer as well. Definitely the allies, no indirect fight. Oh, what? Went for a pack alley. Why did he go for a pack out? So late as well. It's gonna be the scoff for sure. He's got, he's got the fuel for it now. Target secure. Alright. Maybe plans to get the priest later on. That's it. That's a forward shrier like this could be alright. Just go for a cheeky satchel right on the corner. Uh, easily evaded. And a second ISG now coming in for Iterator. Going for this might mean that he misses his uh, manpower time for his first medium tank if he wants to go to P4 though. Depends on how much bleed he suffers in the next couple minutes I suppose. Okay, we starting to chip away. He's gone for a Sherman now. Not too far off a uh, time on target. Seems like Lewis wants to push down that truck. But his AT gun positioning has not been the sharpest. Easily could have shut down this 223 a lot more. So a bit of positioning. And only Nusha. Uh, where's he going with this? 234, I'm not sure. So a load of retreats might run into this mine, but the Shrek actually retreated as well, so it doesn't matter too much if that does end up happening. And, but yeah, I think Lewis kind of giving up on his side too often. The arrival of this T-34, his assistance wasn't required at the top. Now his squad's uh, quite far away from the bottom where he kind of needs them to support his Sherman pushing in. Gathering control down here. Switch over the high explosive though. Couple mines right here. He does have sweepers on one as re echelon, but they are back at base at the moment. Oh, 
Oh, Central 1. Central 2. Ouch. Which rate are losing the Shreer. Nicely done there. Drew the aggro of the flak base with the T-34. Soaked the damage. Allowed the Pinos to get in there with the satchel. That's a big step back. Paying the price for putting it so far forwards. Softened up, you know, a little bit by the pack alley and then polished off by the Pinos. Got a heavy mortar as well now for Onimusha. Maybe I would have saved this for a uh, Pachushin Steers. Pretty close to the fuel for that. Heavy mortar might struggle against the double LEIGs, but alright. A few good hits in there. Getting our iterator continuously fighting these fights. Just out of cover. A slight reposition here and there will go a long way. Before with some good crush action there. Stone Pies up for a tree. Oh, nearly gets the scrum wipe as well. A little more having to get out though with the Axis troops rolling through the top. To another flag base here, a little bit later on the retreat, but going to be a close call. Looks like they're going to survive. No, spoke too soon. We just lost a unit. Yeah, got a Panzer IV on the field for Dark Phoenix, so Sherman's going to have to be cautious. Oh, got squad like himself, a bit of revenge. A lot of manpower for both of the Axis players right now. Dark Phoenix investing into another Ober. Traitor though, uh, putting down the mechanized, going straight for a King Tiger. The guys are low on VPs, definitely quite far behind on territory this whole game. Retreats to the Artillery probably wasn't necessary, probably could have just ran over here, but the T guard maybe not in the most relevant position back there as well. We should have been pushed up to about here, assisting with the fight. So yeah, a few deficiencies with the positioning of Lewis in this game. It's a nice shot in there though. Oh wow, if that Sherman had penetrated, that would have been the kill. Well, not super likely to penetrate, but, you know. That's a big old Soviet blob rolling through the mill. Against the salvage on the Ritz building. Obers here, but these riflemen are high vets, they can hold their own until the Obers have vet too. At the moment though, the riflemen are shooting at the STT Fox. Bad target selection, should be shooting at the Obers. Fox. Yeah. It's just valuable and also less damaging at long range compared to the Obers. A bit too. I don't get any survivability buffs, or at least I suppose. And not again. Oh, they they do have V1 one more, right? Yeah. Oh, sure, I'm a high explosive there. Oh, there we go, Priest now from Lewis. This could be another dead Shreer for the Axis. Has taken the field. Some heavy water shells landing here as well. The cap in the top. The lies 212 remaining. They've got to be careful. Double ISG's returning fire. 
What about to be decrewed? Definitely neglecting the bottom almost entirely. He's probably not going to get the kill though with this barrage, it looks like. Not be able to polish it off though. So many allied squads in the middle, but they need a VP. Get a squad wipe and the pack out. He does finish the job. Great hit from the P4 though. And the Yagalites do have some cover. They're fighting strongly. Got to dodge those ISG shots. Here comes the Kachusha. After the ISGs. That scatter though, barely did anything there. One kill right at the tail end. Yeah, definitely a tunnel vision through the middle for the allies. Especially Lewis. Could easily rotate down here, force away his machine gun, open up the capture. Especially with the Panzer IV on half his health. He's finally doing that now. Good thing though, he came down here with the sweepers. Need to bring the AT gun though if you want to make this move. Of course it's a retreat. Double our kittens rolling in. Enemy Get away, P4. No chase, so there it goes now. Actually for the Sherman, a lot of misses. T gun decrewed by X troops rolling through the middle. Oh, Looks like we're now on the Sherman. But there's that King Tiger finally for Iterator. Is this going to be the GG vehicle? Oh, great hit from the T 34. He's ready five in the booth on Imush, and he's got the uh, vehicle ready to go. This barrage. I'm not sure what it's going after there, those. Very successful. Getting some good work done here, but the double the kittens are right next door. Definitely Lewis a little bit under strength in terms of anti-tank. Trying to squeeze in this priest as well. Just the one AT gun, but somewhat close to a Jackson, which I imagine will pretty much round out his composition. Backing away with the Mark vehicle activation. Katusha going after the ISGs. Good amount of drain coming through on the axis here, but they're still so far ahead. Oh boy, and the Rakittens land on that Sherman. P4's going in for the kill, but the Rakittens are the ones that get the job done anyway. And he rebuilds the Sherman. Cancels it. I mean, it's not horrible, but it's also not that good. I think with the, so many M1919 units, Pacawi and Priest, you should be able to do okay in the anti infantry department. Base barrage. Nobody knows about the recognized truck back there somehow. Could even consider trying some shotgun priest shenanigans coming in close range. OAT gun here with no screening infantry. Tries to spin around and shoot with it. Might get a shot off here, but it's definitely getting decrewed. Probably gonna get killed. So Lewis really falling apart down the bottom. 
Lucius is going to need to get his carry pants on. A few good hits in though from the SU-85. Completely destroyed. Again, he's splitting his forces, coming up to assist his teammate. I suppose these guys are not very useful against the Panzer IV down the bottom, so maybe on this occasion it makes more sense until there's some form of anti tank. Cast a grenade out, and uh, ISGs they have been really. Doing well as of late. Nine kills, twelve on the other. And some great hits. Finally capping in the north now, though again. Down to 111 on the Allied side. Capping in the north with the guards. Oh, hit a light AT mine, okay. Does have a Jackson about to pop out now? The allies are under so much VP pressure. Doing well, containing the KT. No Rakitans at all for Iterator, so... The Sh-85 should just be going to town here. Absolutely nuking the King Tiger constantly. There's nothing to zone it. One trick, and it's... Quite far back as well. Okay, recruise the Rakitan down here. How are these penals stuck up here? They must have vaulted. And now they're... Now they're like... <laughs> I don't think I've seen that happen before. It's back over now. But that does allow the recovery of that Rakitan for Iterator. Can I activate the kill count? I'm pretty sure. Check. Not sure if I noticed that my kitten getting decrewed initially. Can come in here with a T-34, get some decrews going. Too respectful though. Yeah, we will on the next does have 600 munitions, this Rita. So it could drop a plane here any moment. Could, should even consider building some Goliaths. Just why not when you have 600 mews. We still have the back on the mechanized, but it looks like it's been repaired. Quite a lot of scatter at this range as well, and not nearly as vulnerable or as valuable as killing the Shreer, killing the mechanized truck off. Two grenades, decent dodge. Okay, solid Katusha. D crew force away the Shrek unit as well. Force away the Rakit and the SU-85 should be right in here. I don't know what he's doing with his positioning. But in the end, it's fine because drops the loiter. Combat engine is dead as well. I imagine that was to the King Tiger. 16 kills now. Coming in from the 
heavy mortar. with the overs. Oh! That looked like an accuracy shot to me. The way that they explode from accuracy shot, I feel like it's different, you know? The accuracy shot lands on infantry. Looks like that's when they let out the cloud of red mist explosion. He's chipping away at this. He hasn't even hit Viet 1 this whole time, by the way. Bit of a waste on the priest. Planes have expired now, though. Only Musha's trying to push back into double S-285s. Still only one Rakitin and one Shrek, I think. No, he's picked up a second Shrek now. Missing. Oh boy. Doesn't dodge away with the priest at all. Shusha though. Hoping for the D crew and gets a folk screen here as well. There was just some big kills. But 28 points left for the allies. Trying to cap in the top. Shoot a 5. Going by the Rakitin. He was dying to the flak base. What's going to do? Don't think the allies have got the uh, units in the right spots to cap this before the points drain out. So, overall, a little bit of a lackluster performance from the Allies in general. I think Onimusha didn't really use the M3A1 to its maximum potential early on. Too cautious with it, too much time out, maybe backing away too far to do repairs with it, stuff like that. Wasn't quite strong enough in the early game. Then neither of the Allied player going for a light vehicle, I felt just kind of played into the Axis hands here. Nothing to zone out the... 2-2-3 that easily. Force them to anti-tank response, punish them with their fast tech style strategies. Obviously these are random teams, so that kind of coordination, maybe not always that possible, but yeah. You know, you can also type in chat. But yeah, then uh, Lewis, I think overall the positioning of units was not very good. Just continuously sending units to the middle and the top Neglecting the bottom led to a lot of VP drain. And just the overall support play wasn't really there. The AT gun not really in position to like push forward support when he like attacks up here, stuff like that. Just meant that you know, if the AT gun's here, the Panzer IV pushes up here to stop your squads from capping. You're just going to take like a whole bunch of bleed and get forced away for free. Got to be pushing up. Got to be active with that anti tank gun if you want it to be relevant. And it was initially like a good kill on the uh, Schwer Panzer headquarters. Up that out fast, but then the uses of the priest just going for like long range barrages on the mechanized truck way out the back. Bit of a waste. Might have been better to try and like scout out the location of the double Rakettens. And then try hit them with like a close range priest, something like that. Try get that vet one, and then once you got the creeping barrage, maybe you could consider going back after the mechanized truck thereafter. But yeah, that was not not very good. Only Musha as well, giving way too much breathing room to this King Tiger while Iterator had nothing in terms of anti-tank. One Shrek, and that was it. And he's just sitting back here with the SU-85 when the King Tiger, you know, could have just been blasting it non-stop, forced it way off the map. That just allowed easy comeback for Iterator, recruiting the Rakitten down here, building more anti-tank, and then causing trouble. So yeah, 
A little bit of an underperformance overall from uh, both of the Allied players in this one. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like our game, you cast by me. Details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.